Hey, this is David Miller with the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty. The uh, Orlando Regional Realtor Association just put out the new stats for Metro Orlando, and I'm here to interpret that data for you. So as you know, I always like to start with inventory. If I look at inventory, it went up about 80 houses compared to this time uh, last month, which isn't really a big deal. Um, overall, what I'm looking at is if I, if I drill into the numbers is that the single family homes went up about 4.4% versus this time last year. However, condos really took off and it's 20, there's 23% more condos on the market now than there was this time last year. So that's definitely worth noting. Uh, the supply of homes on the market uh, is 2.6 months, which means that we are still in a very strong seller's market. That means that there's more buyers in the market than there are sellers. So if you're thinking about selling your house, this is the best time to put your house on the market. If we look at our sales from last month, they really took off compared to February. They went up 30% compared to February, which is outstanding. However, February was a pretty light month as well. If we compare it to this time last year, uh, the sales actually went down about 11%. And the main culprit to that is that there's not a lot of inventory. So if you're a buyer looking for properties, it's taking longer to find what you're looking for. Uh, the other thing to notate is out of all that sell, out of all those sales, distressed sales only represented about 4% of those sales. I mean, I've been in business 13 years. I remember back in 2010, 2011, in the dead of the market, 75% of sales were distressed sales. So, so boy, how have the times changed? So here's what's going on. Um, two weeks ago, the interest rates dropped. Uh, the biggest single day drop in 10 years dropped almost a quarter of a point from like 4.25 to the very low fours. So, uh, and the reason that they dropped is that the Fed said that they were not gonna be increasing the interest rates through the rest of this year, uh, which is outstanding. So that really allowed those rates to drop and really the rates right now are at the lowest rates they were in the past 18 months. So if you're thinking about buying a house, this is a great time to buy a house. The main reason is because since the rates have dropped, houses are more affordability, are more affordable. The affordability index compared to last month went up um, to 134% versus 132%. So only went up 2 percentage points. So just remind you what that means is that if you're making the average uh, wage in, in Florida of 99% of the average wage, that means you can afford 99% of the average price of a house here. So 133% is very good. First time home buyers also went up from 93% up to 95%. So things are more affordable. As the rates drop, that means you can afford more house, which means that this is a great time to buy a property. To show how the interest rates have dropped, the average interest rate in March was 4.21% versus in February it was 4.34%. And I expect in April for that to be even lower. So the market is still very hot. I know this because in the past two weeks, we put five new properties on the market. And within the last two weeks, they all are under contract and about three quarters of them had multiple offers on them. So obviously you have to price it right and you have to get your house in top showing condition. So make sure that you're working with the right realtor that can provide you those recommendations to have you do that. So that's what's going on in real estate in Orlando. If you need our help at anything, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you out and hope you guys make it a great day. Thanks.